Hey everybody, welcome back, Jordan here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to build one of these advanced traffic lights here. Big shout out to Tanjam Lego. You can find him on Instagram and also on Rebrickable where he has some of his designs available, including the instructions for these along with the parts list and essentially how to build these. He also has some other cool things on there such as a taxi cab, a police cruiser, and they're pretty neat. So I'd recommend that you check it out there on rebrickable.com. Now I'm gonna show you all of the pieces that you need right now. You're gonna need 45 unique parts and also 67 total quantity uh, to build a traffic light just like this here. And those will all be outlined on the instructions available. But I'm gonna talk to you guys about how to build one of these and also how I've placed them here in the city. It's pretty cool that this can be your basic structure for a traffic light and how to customize it to best fit your city. Because we all know that LEGO can be interlocked into an unlimited amount of ways, so you can essentially take the parts and pieces from this traffic light here based on this design, and maybe give it your own spin and make it look pretty cool. So these are the uh, traffic lights that you get in the extra poly bags right here. And let's face the fact, they're pretty basic. They've got the red, yellow, and green. They're just on some one by one black modified bricks with the uh, forward facing stud, the snot brick. And then it's got a little modified clip on the side here for your uh, pedestrian signal there. It's a pretty basic build and it's out of the extras poly bag. And let's face it, these look a lot better. Now I would recommend if you do put these in your Lego city and you'll see them in my Lego city later, if you do decide to get these here and you, and you build them out of black parts, I would recommend changing your street lamps to black as well, which are available from the extras poly bags as well. And they are retiring soon. So if you do make the switch, make sure you get those before they retire as those pieces are quite hard to get. Now, the cool thing about these traffic lights is they actually do serve as the uh, street lamp here. So you've got a lamp there to provide light for your uh, citizens in the city. Also right here, you'll see the little buttons on the side using some one by one circular tiles. Those are for the pedestrians. And then you'll see the lights on the other side here. Now there is supposed to be a walking, uh, so there's supposed to be a tile here with the arrow just to indicate which way to walk across the street. But I do not have those as they were a little bit pricey, but I could put a one by one tile, a one by two tile on there with a little custom sticker element if I wanted to give that effect. Also, you'll notice that there is some open signage up here. There's a two by three tile and also a one by three tile. I do plan on replacing this green tile here with a one by four tile. And then I have some custom stickers that were uh, created by OK Brickworks. And those are gonna be shipped to me here. And we're gonna put them all into our street signs so we can uh, name all of our streets. And then these here, I actually do have some custom tiles that were sent to me by Abe. And these are uh, military based posters, propaganda posters, and I'm gonna put those on my streets, but for right now, I'll just show you how they come base without any additional sticker elements. If you wanted to get some two by three tiles and make those look cool, you could also get the extras poly bag that has the stickers. So let's build one of these in a step-by-step -step process. I'll show you the process, and it is quite advanced, but it is pretty easy. And I also wanna show you how I place them in the city, and I also wanna show you this real quick as well, and these can be modified like so. So if you wanted it to manage a T intersection or if you wanted to put multiple lights on one, you could do that just by modifying it. And of course, you can put these in any which way that you like. I mean, you can see this one's not complete, but I just whipped this up here for this video here. So let's build one of these things and then I'll show you how they look in my city and some more modifications in which I made to them to service a T intersect in the city.
So definitely a nice little advanced build there. Comes together pretty quickly if you have the right parts and pieces. The light is actually double-sided, so it could service both sides of traffic, or you could just replace this with a 1x4 yellow tile. You'll see that in my city. What I did is I replaced the uh, four-sided snot brick in the middle with a one-sided snot brick and just popped a little tile on there so it uh, only services one flow of traffic. And in order to change it to this one here, which, like I said, isn't complete, you'll see there's just a little bit of a modification there. So you just take essentially that component off and you just switch it with another one of your bars and then it can be, uh, it can service uh, two different traffic light areas. Yeah, so that looks pretty fantastic. I've got it placed in the city here, just right here. I'm still working on finalizing the placement of the remaining lights throughout the city. So what I've done is I've put them in a T intersection here and I've put the yellow tile on the back just so we don't have lights facing where they don't need to be. So this light here will service this bus. This light here will service that, that yellow taxi. And then uh, this light here will service the police cruiser. And that's how I have them set up in the city here. I do have some of those tiles, or sorry, the stickers for the tiles on order from OK Brickworks so that we can get some street names going there. And I also want to put those uh, propaganda posters onto those two by three tiles along with uh, maybe some of those stickers from the extra pack as well. I did make one other modification to this guy here. All I did was just put a bracket right here so the, oh, pedestrian fell over. Um, so the uh, pedestrian uh, control light is facing the uh, walk there. There is no pedestrian control light here. I'll have to make something separate so we can put like a little button probably just modify this street lamp. And those are the street lamps that I was talking about in the extras poly bags. You get two per poly bag. They retail for five bucks. Plus you get a bunch of other stuff, uh, lights in a mailbox and a bunch of other quality parts out of there. And those are good to have for sure. I've put the one by two tile on this one here, but I'll need to do it on the others and also get some stickers. You can buy the print elements that, uh, the print elements are available, but they're, they're a decent price for, for what they are. Uh, ballpark, these things will cost you about 10 bucks each to make, unless, of course, you already have these parts and pieces available. Once again, the instructions for this here is available on rebrickable.com. If you just look up Tanjam Lego, or if you just search traffic light, you'll see that. You'll also see his other designs, such as that police cruiser. If you build one of his, it'll probably have the doors. <laughs> I've got to order my doors. He also has a uh, taxi cab that looks pretty good. I've just got to order my wheel wells for that there. But there's my improved traffic lights for the LEGO City. Let me know what you think of them by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.